Okay, welcome back to Hearts of Fallen 4. Today, I'm gonna be playing as France in the Agora mod. I have one goal in mind, and that is to turn France into a monarchy. Yes, we got rid of the monarchy, but now it's time to bring it back, you know? Historical AI is off, and that's the first event we need. AF attack Bloom. Uh, we can't blame them, and this will allow us to go either Bonapartist, that's what we don't want to, but also Monarchist, and that's what we want. And Germany is going historical, great! Uh, I love this. And that should be 1946 elections, right? Yep. And Action Francesco, coup. We wanna go with uh, Moras. Because I don't really know who Moras is. It's very funny because I'm French. But there we go, I have coup. And now let's see which paths do we have. Because I haven't really explored the test part of the focus tree. Alright, and now we could either dismiss AF, Action Francaise, and reestablish elections. Okay, so we are just becoming a democracy again. Or we could continue their collaboration and then turn this country into a monarchy, which is what I think I'm gonna do. In terms of uh, restoration trees, we could have either the Bourbons or the Orleantists. And uh, looking at the focus tree, Bourbon is seems a lot m bigger, so all right. Let's continue. I have collaborations. Even if this bonus is, does look really cool, in my opinion. All right. So we have a very common Polish civil war happening, and Japan joins the Allies. What? Okay, wait, wait. I did not even realize that Japan could do that. Uh, oh yeah, they are democratic apparently. What is a? Uh... Oh yeah. Okay. Seems nice. Alright, I see. Okay, that seems kind of nice, uh, democratic Japan. Alright, sure, uh, you, we can have democratic Japan, I don't mind. And there we go, monarchy has been restored. We've got Alphonse Ier as our king, a part of the Bourbon dynasty. And palace question, yeah, we can keep it like that. Also, thankfully, I've managed to get unlocked the remilitarization path, which is good. And let's see what... Ooh, actually, this, all of this seems kind of cool, to be honest. Okay, let's fix our economy a little... Oh, that's the Soviet Civil War. Right, I was about to say that we need to fix our economy, but... Um, right. I forgot that the Soviets often go through a civil war with historical AI off. Um, I don't know what else to do, to be honest. Oh, and the Polish Civil War ended. Right as the Soviet one starts. That's funny. Okay. I, I see. Oh, and it's already over. I'm surprised that the biggest country on Earth had a civil war that lasted less time than the Spanish Civil War. It's still going on. I and I hate it because I can easily intervene into the Civil War, but it's just I don't want the peace deal to be screwed. If you know what I mean. Now let's do Operation Clovis. Okay. Oh, and there we go. Bo all three of them actually accepted. That's nice. And I can also do this focus that will allow us to core all of their lands. But also the Rhine. So, yeah, we are gonna go to war with Germany after. Oh, and Spanish Civil War just ended. Alright. Yeah, we can definitely go attack them then. Okay, now let's go to war against uh, Nationalist Spain. I think. Uh, oh, we can also do this, that allows us for more war support, actually, I'm gonna do that. Anyways, they have about, they can have 123 divisions, I do not trust this. Alright, let's go, end of the League of Nations, but, oh my goodness, everything is going on directly. Alright, let's do this.
And there we go, Spain is done. Let's just take everything then. I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she's the first trial. In 39? What the... What has Germany been doing? They have not done Anschluss until 39. Ex that's... What? Okay, wait. Uh, this is when World War II started. And Germany hasn't even started expanding. Wow. Um, yeah, they have a lot of units, though. So, this... Greece is... Oh, uh, oh, never mind. World War II just started because of Italy and Greece. Because Greece joined the Allies, I think. And Yugoslavia became a part of the communist town. Okay, oh, Germany declared war on Czechoslovakia. Right. It's almost gonna be all time to strike at Germany. Because they're all starting to go to war with everybody. I think they've done literally everything else in their focus tree. So that's really funny. Second Vienna Award. Oh, and Soviet Union against Germany. What? Okay, that seems crazy. Okay, so Germany is at war with both the Comintern, uh, UK, and Japan. And soon with us, actually. I mean, I'd like to say that Hitler isn't doing this badly in the game. I know he only did Anschluss in 39, and uh, that this is at war with, like, most of the superpowers. Poland is still neutral for some reason, and... Uh, Wait, what? Why does Austria-Hungary... What? Huh? Austria-Hungary doesn't own Austria. E Excuse me, what? N yeah? I don't understand. Like... Uh, <laughs> why does... Why does Austria-Hungary not own... Austria. How did Hungary even manage to claim Austria-Hungary? Because Germany and Schluss Austria already told that, like, Hungary failed to go to war with Austria. But, like, that's stupid. Oh, and Germany has a justification on us, I think. But, like, that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> Austria-Hungary not owning Austria. In fact, not even anything close to Austria. It's just Hungary, Czechia. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, Alfonso died and we've got his old Jack or Juan. Uh, we're gonna get the French. He's deaf and mute. <laughs> He's deaf and mute. <laughs> oh my god. What have I done? Restoring the French monarchy did nothing good to this world. I, I swear. <laughs> okay, anyways, I'm just gonna go to war with Germany. I've had to justify on them because they wouldn't declare war on me. Let's go! Kill Germany! Wow, nothing happened within the first year of my entrance. I am insignificant to the cause of this war. Th I really like this. Okay, what the hell happened to Austria-Hungary-Poland borders? Why does Poland own... I think that's Moravia? And why does Austria-Hungary own all of the south of Poland? What? Uh, there was a... Those borders are even worse than before! Like, excuse me! R right! And somehow, like, the entire front between Germany and the Comintern is um, Romania. And I, what the hell is happening? Those borders are horrible. In fact, 
What the hell did they do? Really? Oh, and also Japan naval invaded Romania. So, really, I love this realism. Honestly, I've lost all control over this uh, game. But, like, please, come on. We also did this very good on Circleman, so we are gonna destroy it. And uh, let's continue in Germany, I guess. Right, okay, Germany is basically dead, we can try to take him, we can almost take them actually, but right, I'm just gonna try to um, destroy all of the encircled units, because the front line is starting to become a mess. Okay, why the fuck, how do I, okay, so Germany has managed to have a stronghold over Austria, and I hate it, like I cannot... I absolutely cannot attack it, and I just hope that I don't have to go all the way to get nukes in order to destroy it, because like, it's impossible to push, yeah, and into China, no, I keep it, fuck off, no, why are there, why are there two Republic of Chinas, and why did Tanganistan want into China, oh my god, please help me, <laughs> This is insane. Right. And yes, I had to wait all the way until 1945 to get nukes to destroy Germany's holdout. I hate this. I 100% hate this. Peace deal of Berlin. Treaty of Berlin. We took all of Germany and we got Italy as a puppet. <coughs> Other things include the fact that uh, Austria-Hungary got Austria. Finally. And, like, Greece is massive now. Oh, and also Mongolia got, um, Romania for some reason. Like, I hate... I don't know what did I do, but Mongolia has uh, Romania now. And I'm trying to fix the borders a little bit, but, um, it's gonna be hard. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please consider giving a like and a follow if you have enjoyed it. Anyways, see you guys on the next one. This was Detective. Bye.